What's up guys? So in today's video we're going to be installing new front mesh grills on my Porsche 718 Cayman S. Now the grills I got for this car are the Zunsport mesh grills. These grills come with actually like four separate little grills that actually fit in each one of these little sockets of the car. I'm going to put the link in the description to the grills I got. But just a note for you guys, there is a difference between the Cayman and the Cayman S grills. So if you have either or of the car, make sure you get the correct one because the first time I ordered the wrong one, I ordered the one for just the base Cayman and those didn't fit correctly so make sure you get the ones for the Cayman S. Now mesh grills are something I think that most cars should have from the factory because they protect like rocks and leaves and other debris from flying into the radiator and stuff of the car and just causing damage over time and I don't know why most uh, manufacturers don't have them from, come from the factory like that and I know some people will be like oh what if it affects like the cooling of the car and whatnot like if you're just driving the car daily I don't think it'll have that much of an impact on like the cooling temperatures of the car maybe if you take the car to the track a lot it will affect the temperatures a bit, but for the most part, it won't make much of a difference. So as I mentioned before, this comes with like four separate little grills. And if you can see here, it comes with a little hook and a little hook on this side. So basically what we'll be doing is when we're putting it in, we'll just be sliding it in here and then hooking it into place. And we're just going to put it in for all four of these. So the install should be super easy. All right. So one thing we're going to want to do beforehand is there's already a bunch of leaves and a bunch of like stuff already in the front bumper of the car where the grill is going to go so we're going to try to clean up all that because once we put the front grills in there's nowhere for that stuff to go so it's just going to remain in the front of the uh, front bumper of the car so we're going to want to clean all that up and then when we put the front grills in it'll be all clean and then nothing can get in there as you guys can see here this is only just some of the leaves and dirt we found on only one side of the car what we ended up doing is we ended up just using a compressor and a vacuum cleaner so the compressor would blow the air in there and the vacuum cleaner would suck up all the leaves and stuff so that's what we ended up doing and you can see there's a bunch of dirt inside the car. Alright guys, so we finished the install. It wasn't too difficult. Um, we did have some trouble with this lower middle piece right here because it kept popping out of place. But what we ended up doing is we ended up um, installing it, um, the top one first, then the lower one, then that bottle, bottom center one, then the upper center one. And then it, after we did that, it ended up kind of coming together a lot better. I'm assuming since like the way this is designed, since these are a little bit thicker than the plastic, it kind of like holds everything together. And yeah, it was pretty simple. You just They just kind of clip into place and just topping around here, it doesn't look like they're going anywhere. So, you know, they're not moving at all. So it looks like it's gonna hold pretty well. So yeah, that's about it. And it looks pretty good. I'll just do a quick walk around and show you guys what it looks like, what the car looks like with it on right now. So if you guys found this video helpful, you guys can hit that like button. And if you guys have any questions, don't be afraid to leave them down in the comments and I'll try to help you guys out. I'm a, again, I'm going to leave a, this, uh, in the description, I'm going to leave a, a link to the grills I got. And yeah, and these also come with instructions. So if you guys are thinking about getting these and you think I didn't do a good job of explaining it, they have videos on their own website and they come with instructions on how to install them. And again, it's not that difficult. And that's going to do it for today's video. See you guys next time. Peace.